Canker sore versus cold sore, what is the difference? Well, to start a cold sore, also called a fever blister, is caused by the herpes simplex virus. Over half of the population has this virus in their system, this isn't the same virus as the one that causes genital herpes. This virus can stay dormant the majority of the time. Oftentimes it will flare up and lead to a cold sore in times where your immune system is compromised such as during times of extreme stress or when you are fighting off other sicknesses. Cold sores usually form on the outside of the mouth. An outbreak will last around two weeks in most cases, though there are some things that can be done to shorten the time length. Cold sores are extremely contagious so you have to be very careful not to come into contact with anyone else while you have an outbreak. No kissing, no sharing of eating utensils, toothbrushes, toothpaste, wash clothes, towels, razors, etc. Make sure you wash your hands frequently and don't forget you can pass it into yourself as well. You can cause other outbreaks by touching the cold sore and then rubbing our eyes, for example. Using supplements as well as some herbal remedies can help either prevent an outbreak or at least help it heal more quickly. Tea tree oil, L-lysine, lemon balms, are just a few of the things that people have reported have helped them avoid, or at least shorten, an outbreak. A canker sore, on the other hand, is a painful sore that usually occurs inside the mouth and cheek. These open sores are very painful and will start off as a small pimple, then form into a blister. These sores are not caused by a virus, like cold sores are, but rather from bacteria, this is the main distinction when it comes to canker sore versus cold sore. A canker sore will take about 14 days to heal also. These sores will often leave a scar, though since it's on the inside of your mouth it's not like it's going to be disfiguring. Most people will get canker sores during their pre-teen and teenage years. The frequency will vary greatly from one person to the next, some people may be plagued by them virtually one right after another, while others may only get one a year. All of this will depend on your personal habits as well as your immune system. Some people just seem to be more susceptible to some things than others. Another significant difference between canker sores and cold sores is that canker sores aren't contagious and cold sores are extremely contagious. You don't have to take any special precautions while you have a canker sore to not pass them on to to others like you would with a cold sore. Sometimes, frequent canker sore outbreaks can be a sign of some more serious underlying conditions so if you get them frequently you may want to talk to your doctor. Now that you know the difference between canker sore versus cold sore, you'll have a better idea of just which of these nasty little things is making you suffer the next time around.